Hello and welcome back to Solar 24 Hours. I hear a lot of people ask me, hey, how I can add a solar panel to PVC software database? Because when I want to use it, I can't find it. It's not appear in the manufacturer's database on PVC software. So how I can do it? Yeah. And the answer is really simple. You have two methods. The first one is asking the manufacturers for that file, and the extension is point p a n. You can hear me p a n. And the second, the second way, if you can use the manufacturer data sheet to add the parameter manually to PVC software, and you can use it immediately. Yeah. There are two ways, and today I will introduce you the second way, the second method. So you can add it, you can use it immediately, and simulation your PV system to have the, the result immediately. So good, right? So let's get started. The first thing you need to to have is yeah, the database. And right there, we have the data sheet from Zinco Solar manufacturers. And what we want to add it, the, the solar panel is here, ZKM445M. And okay, so back to PVCs. You see it? It's not up here, right? We want to create it. So at first, you click here, new. And then you type the the name, yeah, the serial of this solar panel. So I think it's ZKM four 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 five M. Okay, and then you copy it to this place. Okay, the manufacturers is Zinco Solar. Nominal power at SDC. You can see here, it this number, you you will type it to this, and this tolerance. You can see here. Here, you can see that power tolerance is O to three percent. So here is O three percent. So easy, right? Next is ISE. I see right there, and at ATC, is it's this value? So we will will tie this value to PVCs. Okay. Next is I M P P T. I M P P T right there. I will change to this solar panel, and you can see that. Right. Okay. And next is V O C. V O C right there. Change this place and enter the number. Really easy. Next is VMP right there. You will change this place and you will see the values. Okay, next MUISE is this value. Is the temperature coefficient of ISE, and you can see it in type of percentage per. Celsius, right? So you will enter the number in this place. Okay, and and this this value will automatically change when you finish this value. Okay, and next we move to the next right there, size and technology, single solar. You will move to this mechanical character characteristic and the dimensions we will enter the number from the data C to PVCs so easy okay and next is number of cell um I really 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 hard to at, at the first time but I have this information for you is really simple just 
the total number of cells you see right there is 156 so you enter this number you divide it by 2 remember 2 and you have this number 78 and you will enter this number to this in parallel you type 2 okay and you can see the total number of cells is 156 okay don't don't bother about this number yeah just do the way I did because there's a lot of solar panel with these types of cell arrangement but in PVC you just you just need to divide by 2 and get the number in this that's okay the neck is maximum voltage I easy and you can see here you see this maximum system voltage is 1,005 uh, oh, 1,500 I'm sorry 1,500 that's okay okay and the, the bypass rotation diode you can see here it's 3 it's 3 oh I'm sorry we can't see right there but but the the really common the really common with these types of solar panel we have the free diet and so I, I was searching for it no it's not appear right there so we will have the numbers of submodule we have three and that's okay you also check the twin half cell okay and the next is model parameters just give the default just give the default and just we click here see right just give it a default you don't need to click here or you you can click here if you want but in my opinion we don't want to change anything in this model parameters just give it as the default values PVC bring to you and adds in the data is the same don't don't do something too much in this just use the default values you move to the commercial right there is manufacturers just Rinko solar and available from the market uh, for example you know this number is for example it this okay and we back to the basic data oh everything is okay it's great and the data source you can want to change it to the data seat for example write this okay just because you want to know which types of sources you create this database so you, so you will remember and you can you you can check the data before okay so we click on this and we save at wait for a second PVC will save this database to PVC and when you you go to the Zinco solar solar panel it will appear on the table I will click save and ta -da, you can see that right Zinco solar 445 watt peak you can see it right there data seed you can double click to check the database again okay so that's it we will check check it on the real simulation I just do the simple thing I use uh, I click on a system then we move to Zingo solar sounds simple right there and do this you can see that 
445 watt peak Zingo Solar is up here right there and you click on that you can change these number okay change the number uh, click OK for example and you can run the simulation you will get the detailed result and the report is really really fast when we compare with the the database file from the manufacturers maybe is if we more precision more than the data seat but is the fast way the fast way and you can have the result immediately right so that's all that's all I want to share today to you so you can add the, the new solar panel to BVSYS and use this database to simulation and get the report for your system okay and if you have any questions and things anything you want me to do more in the future just put it on the comment of this video and I will help you because that's all I wanted to share thank you and see you in next time